Hello, this is Steven and today I want to show you how to install Handy WooCommerce WordPress theme. So to begin with, you need to download a theme package from ThemeForest. Once you have theme package downloaded, uh, it will look something like this on your computer, with, but with a much longer name. And uh, now you need to get the actual theme out of there. To do that, I recommend uh, unzipping the whole archive. For example, like this. And then I recommend finding it the actual theme folder. Uh, it's, it's zipped at the moment. And you can just copy it and paste it in, in the folder you need. And then you can extract it in a regular folder, which is going to be called Handy Store. You need to make sure this folder contains all these files, which are our theme. After these, uh, you'll need to have a clean WordPress install uh, on your site. I already have one. Here it is. It is called Handy, but it's just a regular WordPress website powered by a regular WordPress theme called 2016. Uh, so how do we get our theme to appear over here? Uh, we, well, what I recommend, my favorite way, is, is just uploading it via FTP. So we need to open our FTP client. I have already connected to, uh, to my WordPress install right here. And um, here is our theme folder we extracted. And here is our WordPress install. So we need to navigate to WP content folder, then to themes folder. And when you see this is the list of themes we have uh, on our site right now. And we can just, you know, drag this handy store folder right here and wait till it gets uploaded. It will take probably a couple of minutes. Well, after the process is uh, over, we're gonna see, uh, okay, it is over. Now we need to refresh this page. And here we go, we see Handy uh, in in the list of our themes. We can now activate it. That's what we're going to do. And we can now begin installing plugins. This is These are the recommended plugins which come with the theme. And we recommend to install them all. So we need to select all of them and select install and hit apply. And yeah, it's also going to take some time, but it usually doesn't take too long. And after the plugins are installed and activated, we are done with installation and activation of the theme. After that, you can just start building your site from scratch, or you can choose to install sample data and, you know, use it as a basis for a future site. Well, I'm going to talk about installation of sample data in our next video. But for now, we just need to wait till the till plugin installation is finished. For now, if you look at the front end of your site, you can't really see any difference. Just probably a little bit like the layout and color scheme. But you know, the difference is quite insignificant. Okay, we can see that our installation is in progress. Oops. It shouldn't be long now.
Yeah, it usually takes less time than it is taking right now, but you know, your experience is going to be different depending on uh, what hosting you use and how loaded this that hosting is in the moment, you know, things like that. So you have to allow different situations. Uh, this hosting right now isn't isn't really a great hosting. It's just a, a quite regular hosting account I purchased for testing purposes. Uh, so it's a little bit slow, but hey, uh, we are done installing plugins. Now we need to actually activate them. Uh, I recommend activating WooCommerce first uh, because it is kind of the main plugin of the theme. And uh, if you activate, let's say, WC vendors uh, before WooCommerce, it will give you an error because it requires WooCommerce to run. So yeah, activating WooCommerce is actually a good idea, although it's not necessary. And then I recommend going uh, to the home uh, tab of the dashboard, and hitting this let's go thing to create the actual pages because we are going to need these pages anyway. So it's better if they get created from the very beginning. Or we can skip all these other steps. They can be configured later. Skip, skip, no thanks. And we can just go hit create your first product. And then go back to activating plugins and just bulk select all of them and choose activate and hit apply and they should be activated you know quite fast yeah see they all activate now and if we go to our plugins list we can see them all here now installed and activated okay 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 yeah so here is this big list of plugins and on the front end we still have nothing that looks like our live demo so uh, in the next video i'm gonna show you how to install uh, sample data to make handy look like our live demo